Hey guys, this is a mid-month love and guidance reading for the 15th through the 31st. This is a general reading, so it's not going to recommend for everyone. If you guys need a personal reading, visit my website at pinkarianjim.com. If you have any issues, please e email me and um, we will get it together. Okay, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, let's see. Oh, Merry Christmas, you guys, and have a Happy New Year. For those of you who celebrate the holidays, all right, my Leos. What is going on for Leo? We're going to go with the Celtic cross today. All right, Leo. Ooh, I almost lost the cards there. Let's see. Hmm. Overall energy, nine of swords. Virgo got this in their potential outcome. I don't know what's going on right now. A lot of people are in their feelings, and um, and I feel like there is a lot of overreaction going on. A lot of things that may seem one way, but they're really not. They're another way. So let's be mindful of that, okay? Let's see. Here you are as a page of swords with your challenge being the tower. <clears throat> in the past we have the hermit in your foundation we have temperance crowning you we have the knight of pentacles hmm. your near future we have the star move that stuff out of the way I'm sorry <clears throat> How you see yourself is the Ace of Wands. Ooh. In the environment, we have the Three of Swords. Hmm. Oh, wow. In your hopes and fears, we have the Judgment. Your potential outcome is the Six of Cups. Hmm. You know, the, the first thing I notice is that all around you, here you are as a page of swords here, okay? But in this immediate cross section right here, you're surrounded by all majors. And not only are you surrounded by all majors, but they are all healing, awakening energy going on here. Hmm. Okay. Leo's, I'm sorry. I, I really am because I can feel hurt from a lot of you okay so page of swords hmm. I get the feeling that a lot of you have realized something too late I, I just feel that strongly you've realized something too late you didn't speak soon enough you didn't move soon enough is what I'm getting here um, because in the past you were the hermit and you are looking away from this reading you're looking back to the past I feel like you were a little too focused on the past um, and I feel like you were focused on someone your connection with someone from the past focused on just trying to I think there was somebody back here in your past 
that you left behind that you never really left behind. You kept looking at them, but you never moved towards this person. Okay. Right now, I feel like you're healing. You're you're needing to heal because I don't feel like you are healing at this point, but you have support because I feel it. I feel it. My body's tingling. You have support all around you. I feel like right now you are being challenged to put the pieces back together. Put the pieces back together here because there's something that has happened that you feel like happened because you waited too long. That you didn't, you didn't move like you should have. Or you didn't say what you should have said. And so now, either this person has moved on with somebody else that you felt like was the love of your life. Or that you really, really love this person. And either they have moved on with somebody else. Or... It's just that they're not wanting to revisit this situation again with you. And I feel like that's very hurtful for you. I feel like that's very hurtful for you. Because I, I feel like you really did not want to, you didn't see yourself letting go forever. In the back of your mind here, in the hermit, you wanted to you wanted to reunite with this person. And I feel like at a certain point, I feel like there's a missed opportunity here. There's a missed opportunity here. And that's where you're coming from. Missed opportunity here. What's crowning you is you having to walk away at this point. This is you having to walk away. You see this, this Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is slow anyway. But this Knight is on foot. So he's really having a hard time walking away. In your near future, there's healing for you. There's healing for you after your, your, your foundation, your insides feel like they've been ripped. There's healing for you. Okay. I also feel like that there's something else that's destined for you. That's coming towards you. I don't know if you're going to be willing or able to receive it because, you know, right now you're dealing with, with, with a whole other issue. This is also you, I feel like trying to, trying to reconcile the situation with this person anyway, because you feel like this person is, you, you're destined to be with this person. So I think you give it one, I feel like this is like one, one last effort, one last go at it. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. Because they are your star. I just don't think you realized that in the past. I think you probably felt it, but um, there was something blocking you. There was something blocking you before. You want to start over. You find this person very attractive. And you also, I feel like, I feel like there's something that sparked you wanting to start over, though. There's, one, there's something that sparked you, you know, wanting to initiate something. There is something that you...
there is something that that you're being led to do. It's almost like if you don't try, you'll never know. And I think that's that's what you're thinking about here. That you have to at least try. Because your heart is broken. Your heart is broken. I feel like, you know, their heart is broken at the fact that you guys couldn't be together. That they had to move on. That they had to give up. I think this heartbreak is shared between the two of you. Because healing is next to it. You're hoping to reconcile. You're hoping to reconcile here. You're hoping that when you choose to go and at least shoot your shot, that this person will want to do so as well. Because you can't stop thinking about them. You can't stop thinking about what you guys had. You can't stop thinking about the good times. This is somebody you have a history with. Not a last year history. This is somebody with that you have a significant history with. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull um, two cards for advice for you guys. Okay. I haven't done this for everybody, but... Let's see. What's the advice for my Leos? What's the advice for Leo? I'm looking at that five of cups on the bottom of that. That, that that's that's regretful. That's that's regretful. Being having regrets, you know, crying over spilled milk, so they say. That's missed opportunity. Missed opportunity, guys. Oh goodness. Okay, three cards. Two cards, I mean. Look how contradictory these cards are. The King of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. Don't hide behind the curtain. Get on out front and go speak your truth. And that's what I have, Leos. Go speak your truth. Because you're not going to know. Unless you actually try, okay? All right, guys. So I'll be speaking with you soon. And again, take care of yourself. Um, and, and, and go say what it is that, that you want to say to this person. For those of you, you know, who this resonates for, okay? Love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, okay?